Hi everybody, Nadza here. Today we're gonna take a look at spaced repetition in Notion. I've seen a lot of interest in this topic lately and uh, you will find a link in the description to a video Ali Abdal and Simon Clark made on this subject and I wanted to give it a go, trying to find an easier, more fun way to keep track and manage repetitions in Notion. This is what we will come up with today. I will explain the concept and the formula behind it in a minute. But first, um, I want to thank Dr. Arvind that contacted me, pushed me to look into this topic and gave me feedback on it along the way. Um, I wanted to extremely simplify and uh, uh, make the <clears throat> all repetition stuff uh, fun to use. So we will end up with um, a system that uh, just uh, pushes the notes, the entry in your uh, lectures database uh, on the desired uh, um, date. Once you just tick the repetition, you just complete it. Uh, with further ado, um, let's dive into it after the break. So, in this case, if I think about a student in the process of repeating the class lecture, I immediately thought about checkboxes and that satisfying feeling of completion ticking them. It's something easy, quick, and rewarding at the same time. Um, and after minutes, if not hours of study, I think we deserve it. So I decided to create a checkbox column for every repetition I'm planning for those notes. <clears throat> and if we take a look at the database properties, we just have a start date. So let's say the first time you study the topic and four columns, four checkboxes for the repetitions I planned. What are we are gonna do here, it's to add a formula column and let's call it next rep for next repetition, of course. Add the formula tag and let's dive directly into it. What we want to do is that um, after we tick one checkbox for the first repetition, this note is pushed to another date ahead of time. But uh, let's start writing down the formula and things will get be a bit clearer along the way. So, as always, we will start with as 99% of the times with an if statement. So let's put if. So if, 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 let's see, let's start with if the property first repetition is true, <clears throat> what we want to do, we want that the we want to add a date to another property so the um the start date <coughs> and we want to add um let's say for testing purposes let's keep the numbers a bit lower so let's say four and then days and then close this so we are saying that if the first repetition is ticked we want to add four days to the start day and then we have to close it with another date add 
always for the start date and one days and I will explain in a second so what's going on here if first repetition it's true so it's ticked we're gonna add four days to the start date so this note is gonna be pushed away ahead of four days if none of these checkboxes or at least <clears throat> if not the first repetition is not ticked we're gonna add one day so let's see what, what it does for now these are not working but as you can see here um, the start date for this note is the 1st of April by default is pushed already to the 2nd of April so <clears throat> uh, with this configuration the notes the entries of the database are automatically pushed to the next day for the first repetition so it's assumed that you're gonna repeat this topic the day after and this is what we are saying here in the last bit of the formula and if we take the first repetition it jumps to the 5th of April let's complete the formula for the remaining uh, repetitions and then create the other views that will help us manage these uh, entries and repetitions so um, now we can just copy the first line and paste it here don't forget the comma and we have to go backwards I mean the last repetition will come up first in the formula if not it's not gonna work so let's add the second and let's say the second repetition in after eight days and then we have the third repetition after 16 days and this is the third <coughs> and just add a good number of parentheses and we are done for now we are not including the first repetition our last planned repetition but we will see this in a second so right now if we continue I finished my first repetition now this is pushed to the 5th of April I finished my second repetition the 5th of April now it's pushed to the 9th of April and so on and so on and of course right now the first repetition does nothing let's create some views of course it's working for every note here and of course to simplify things in the formula and not overcomplicate the system uh, the thing is it's assumed that you will tick the repetition in order because of course I can tick directly the third repetition and the note will jump directly to the 17th of April <clears throat> so keep in mind that the system is not smart enough to understand that you have to take the uh, the other repetitions before but um, that's that's fair enough for me um, I've created a linked database of the same one here clean it up a bit and organize the things a little bit better um, let's create another view another linked here of course instead of creating linked databases <coughs> you could just um, you could just create different views of the same one it's up to you um, in this case I like to show you the three different stages at the same time so 
that's why I'm linking them <clears throat> and here we're gonna add a calendar view so let's create the calendar and change the calendar by to our next repetition formula so here in this calendar in this way we will see um, where and when most of all um, the uh, upcoming repetition will be <clears throat> so it's an easy way to visualize what's coming next and uh, uh, this linked database we will use this one to see only what we have to repeat today so in this case uh, we just need to filter by um, next repetition is today so as you can see today we just have to repeat the note 5 <clears throat> it's the first repetition we took notes and we studied the topic just yesterday and so once we complete our task we can just tick the box and it will move to the 28th of april for our second repetition what we can do with the first repetition is instead to use it with together with filters again so we can say with filters that when um, to show us only um, notes in this view uh, <coughs> that have the first repetition not ticked in this way when we will finish our series of repetitions for a note that note will, will automatically disappear here and then I think we can we could do a <clears throat> completed view where all the completed notes are stored so we can keep track of what it's completed what it's still to uh, review and study and um, when it's finished it's automatically stored in the other view and at the same time when i tick stuff here you will see that uh, as you can see immediately in the calendar the note uh, it's moved to the next repetition and then again and then again and it's finished so it disappears here and remains in the calendar you can create your own uh, repetition pattern just going to the next rep formula and deciding the number of days uh in order to space differently the um different repetitions so usually for example you want to repeat the next day and then maybe a week after so let's say uh keep in mind that we are always counting from the start date so in this case we have to say one day plus seven so it's eight and then we want to repeat um, a couple of weeks after that so let's say it's in this case it's 8 plus 14 so it's 22 and then the last repetition will be maybe a month later so in this case it's 22 plus 30 so it's 52 this together with uh, the priority system and the overdue system i showed you in the last video about notion can become really powerful for students um, 
are really interesting and um, really helpful for their studies. I hope that this um, will help a lot of you. Um, the templates will be available in this description. Um, please, if you like the content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It will be immensely helpful and um, tell me everything you like or dislike about it. Um, you can always find me on Twitter, Reddit, um, and of course here on YouTube. And um, thank you very much for sticking till the end. And see you the next one.